in the middle of it. I could uh, go ahead and have him uh, uh, make a character while we're doing it. Uh, Dominic, um, we hello. hello, Dominic. We've actually been playing for about uh, two hours now. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just going to gonna watch. Okay, cool. Um, may I ask you to, um, to for now at least, uh, mute your um, your, uh, your your microphone just to cover off uh, background noises? Thank you. Okay, so, and I believe we are now live again. Uh, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty in that uh, my desktop computer is four years old and it was sucky when I bought it and dumped it. Uh, and so what, where I left off, I think, I don't know precisely when the computer dumped me, but last I knew, Troy had been blasting a shadow hound with his gun so that before it could get... Um, come out Clarissa's back and he was back to uh, but in doing so he didn't he, he did it in a rush and damaged the gun so now he can't fire any more shots shouldn't be too much of a problem because Jimmy might be completing his ritual in the next little bit but we never know who knows that that ritual will be completed in any <laughs> case it is because uh, on to Clarissa you are holding back the hordes of skeletons, and another two shadow dogs have, have shown up besides that first one. Uh, besides that first one, one of those got knocked out, so now there are three of these shadow dogs. So you're getting an ever-increasing horde of shadow monsters. What what are you well, doing? Right now you're um... holding some of them. from. They have to pass through you. They are either fixated on you or they have to pass through you to get to your friends. So you are the focus of all danger right now. What are you doing? Uh, okay, so while I'm focusing, um, I can grab my uh, cycle, cycle and uh, he'll, he'll um, um, I forgot, the, the angel. Is he Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and swing the sickle out on its chain with you. Uh, uh, it's a st long staff, and you've got the sickle on a chain attached to it. And sometimes it's a sky, then sometimes a release. Yeah. You're going to go swing mm -hmm. that sickle around, and what you guys see is the sickle kind of cuts into Casil's flesh and pulls it out, and where the sickle passes through is is left healed healed injuries. Uh, depending on how well she rolls. So please roll me plus weird. Which is 2d6 minus 1 for you. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot. Casile has the jewel. You could have asked her to use... You could have said to you, have her use the jewel. I should give you the... Uh, what? I should give um, Jacob the information on what the jewel does. Anyway... Um, mm -hmm. go ahead, roll 2d6. My, uh, did you already roll? Uh, oh, yes, a ten. You, did. you got a 10. Oh, yes. nice. So, what happens is the sickle cuts through Casil, where it passes through, flesh is recovered, and then it springs out and she lashes it out towards something else, one of the other two dogs. It doesn't even connect. It's very far away. It just lashes out, and as soon as there's this something that hits the dog, and suddenly sort of the same sort of mauling bite marks that were on Casil are now on the dog. Cool. That is what the sickle does. I envision when um, Clarissa is swinging this chained weapon around, um, Troy just calmly uh, bends over a little bit, so the chain passes like just over his pith helmet. Okay. Um, now, you have been doing your magic all this time to summon a reaper. Go ahead and summon. Uh, do your use magic roll for me, Jimmy. I've got all the confidence in the world in you. Time to get my hands dirty. He's got a good, good. And I say to Clarissa, "This will never work." <laughs> oh! Oh! No. 
Oh, do you no. Know what well, do you get an experience. You do get an experience. Uh, I'm gonna spend lunch with them at twelve. What was that? I'm gonna spend lunch to make that at twelve. Okay. So Ooh. I'm guessing do I, do I still get the experience or no? No, you don't. If you, okay. if you spend a luck to make it a success, you don't get the experience. Sweet. Okay. However, I'm gonna ask you to roll for me one D three. And you're going to have to do that on the roll 20 because, uh, well, we're yeah. using roll 20 anyway. Go ahead and roll for me 1d3. Two. Okay. Coming up out of the, uh, coming, it's like a, a, t a, a, a tear in the air around you kind of opens up and, and something steps through. You're not entirely sure what it is. Uh, at the mo at, at first, all of you are looking and it's you, you're, there's something incomprehensible there, and then it sort of resolves itself into a, into the image of something humanoid with great spreading wings that may or may not be wings or actually might be a cloak. They're in four, either four wings or a wide cloak, you're not really sure, and then you've got this faint idea of a face, but you're not really sure whether what you're what you're perceiving right now is just this image your brain's putting up to conceal the, the hideous, the, the not the hideousness of it, the, the, the truth of what it is. And I just it, like, like, you're not a reaper. What in the blue blazes is that thing? I am Azrael. Uh, I'm still focusing. Bye. All right. Well, I can you help, in. As an um, angel of death, what is it you oh. wish? Well, no. some of you, uh, you here because there are dead here that shouldn't be here. Uh, they're over there. Oh. So, uh, yeah. I am familiar with their master. This I'm shall not take right. long. Thanks, baby. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God. Did you say baby to him? Oh yeah. In like yeah. a loving way, yeah. Okay. Um, he is going to give you a sidelong look and kind of half, uh, casually kind of flick his hand towards you. Please roll me act under pressure. That's cool, right? Yeah. I have zero cool, so let's do this. Do it. Kid's got some style. He lives through this. Yep. Might learn something. No, you just would do one, one, another do one. Do another one. Yeah, do another thing. Oh. 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 That's an eleven. Yep. That's nice. Okay. Um. You are managed, able to keep your feet, but uh, there's just this wind that kind of blows past that just pretty much tells you that you're pretty sure that without major preparation, Azrael could probably swat you like a fly. Yeah. He's saying, you're lucky you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I just like, um, like sidle up next to the, the party, just like, we should get out of here. Uh Actually, you notice Casil. As soon as Azriel started appearing, Casil ducked out. Oh! <laughs> Follow well, her. Lead. Seems yeah. smart. If I see everyone going, I'll just after them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need everybody uh, to go ahead and tell. Uh, give me somebody. Let's see here. Some of you can act to help out, or some of you can roll act under pressure to get out. Um, I think actually act under pressure works best of this. Go ahead, give me act under pressure to get out without incident. Right. Troy will go last and bring up the rear. Okay. Gotta make sure these other two, well, and Kong, of course, yeah. the other three get out. Okay. You can go ahead and try t telling your thrilling tale. Yeah, he starts a story of uh, a lion attack 
when there were ten lions that attacked him at once, and all he had was an elephant gun and a sidearm, and he bravely cut them down, saved Kong's life, which uh, Kong looks very skeptical about. Go ahead and roll the your ten plus charm. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to run away, trying to slash whatever. Uh, block oh no! Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. What I thought might happen. I have three hold. Yep. <laughs> okay. What is that? Uh, uh, I can choose to give anybody. I can choose to spend the three hold to to give a minus one on any investigate or kick some ass rolls. Mm. And I have I can do it three times. <laughs> you guys were not at all by my story. You think it was a bunch of it was all made up, or I, if it wasn't made up, um, I yeah. obviously just get myself in terrible situations all the time. You lost confidence and confidence in me. Either that, or you're going to obey adv uh, You're going to either disbelieve advice that's real at the wrong time, or believe advice that's completely fooey at the wrong time. No. Okay. On the bright and side, you can mark this experience. Go ahead, act under pressure. Yeah. I roll a seven. You roll a seven? Okay. I roll a, I roll a ten. Okay, Shirley, you get out. Fine. Uh, Jimmy, as you're running nice out, thing. Jimmy, as you're running, not Jimmy Olson. Jimmy, as you're, Jimmy, destroyer of worlds. As you're running out, you're heading down the stairs, and you trip and start falling down them, and now you have two harm. But behind you, you're just see, you're just hearing the sound of a, uh, of, as you're getting further away, you have this sense of a, of a pitched battle. Well, not really all that pitch, just a massacre behind you. But there's no real sound. There's just this idea that there is sound behind you. It's really kind of strange. And that is one of the one of the places explored. You you do meet Casil about uh, two blocks away when you're well, well, well away from Azrael. Casil shows up again and kind of glares at you. Say. You know my. I thought you knew my situation. What are you doing, summoning generals of the heavens to hear? All I wanted was a reaper. Oh, so you just basically cast at random? Hey, I'm just really good. The kid doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is one of the five places. Um, I, I will give you some instinct that one of the remaining four places was probably where Casile was, but since your premonition has already passed, you, you don't have that idea. But you probably know that, that one of the four remaining four places where Casile was, so you can try to ask her. But that leaves three places left to explore. One of them is in the forest, one of them is in the mountains, and another, the other one is somewhere in town towards the poor districts. Well, um... Before that, uh, before that disconnection, I wanted, we wanted to run and throw the force. So we Fort went, yeah. Okay, um, toward the forest. Okay. If uh, one of you knows that Casillo has info on one of the places not to go, let's find that out so we don't waste our time going there. I might have I know, information. I know that one of them is in the forest. So. One of them is in the forest. Go ahead if you want to talk to Casile. Uh, roll investigate a mystery to get questions out of her. Some of them uh, will probably be really easy to get out of her, but uh, you can get some more information to see if she'll give you what she, what's showing you. Really While they do that, can I um, tune in? Yeah, you can go ahead and tune in. I'll let you. I'll let. I'll let me go ahead and get what they're doing. What, what, actually, I'll get what you're doing first. Go ahead and roll to in. Blah, 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 blah. I can GM. Yes, I can. <laughs> so I, I have the idea of, like, um, I know I know who one of them is. I just don't know where he is or what he's doing. So I just 
um, I reach out to him um, in my mind's eye. Got it. Okay. Well. Woo. All right, I'm at 10 plus. Uh, hold three. And I can spend this hold to ask the question. Um, right. First question is, where is the creature right now? Okay. You have the idea that he is in the forest. He's in the forest? Yeah. Yes. Which creature is it? The one that he knows about. Okay. That he hasn't um, told you about yet. What is he planning to do next? Oh, uh, he is planning an attack. On us? No. Okay. Um who does it regard as it as the biggest as the biggest threat? Who does it regard as the biggest threat? Hmm. You get the sense of the you get a sense of the name uh, Yoni Kovic, and I'm just going to. This is the the stats for the jewel. You can go link to it. That's what Castillo has, because I can't get the private thing to work um, for whatever reason. You get the I name. Just, um, of this is Yoni. good. This is good. Now, not only do I know where he is, but I know another of the contenders. So, all right, um, the forest we're going into. Yep. Um, I'm I'm talking in character now. I I I uh, speak to. Oh, uh, okay. uh, Before you do that, while you were tuning in, I want to see what they were. They get their investigation with um, uh, talking. Con Kong was actually talking to Casile. Okay, roll. Did you already roll? No, I'm rolling now. Okay. Okay, that's an eight. So for that, I believe you get one question on the investigation list. Yeah, I would like to... Uh, see. You can say where did it go for this. That's one of the uh, stock okay. questions. Yeah, where did it go? Or that that I I assume is being questioned as a where were you staying? Yeah, yeah exactly. Where oh. were you before? You had one of the artifacts. We can eliminate that from our list. <laughs> Tom is very intelligent. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, brains and brawn. Okay. Def. She says I was headquartered in in the unused portion of the sewers of this town. There are quite a bit larger than they need to be for this city. And older, I think they were probably built before the city was. Not too surprising. It seems that the new the new place for the ritual tends to be prepared well, bef well before the uh, current tournament is finished. There's probably, there's probably another city being finished building, being built right now where the next one will be taking place. I do hope you enjoy your current environs better than the sewers. It's still the mortal plane. Well, not much I can do about that. Yeah. Excuse me. I need to inform the boss. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, so he will whisper to Troy, and Troy says, So from what I understand, Casil was stationed in the sewer, so we can cross that off our list. I think I've just saved us quite a bit of time. Oh, so, uh, where Casil was, the artifact was, because she has yeah. one. The one you detected below the city, so we mm. can... Oh, quest that... Cross that one off. Okay. You did a wonderful job during that fight, by the way. You too, Jimmy. Yeah, even though you some <laughs> big monster that we might not handle, but it was. Oh, uh, don't worry. He packs his elephant gun. We don't need to handle it. Like he, he's a higher being, so 
once he's done with whatever he needs to do, he'll just leave. Now, if it was like a Reaper, I'd probably have to dispel it, but he's he has his own agenda. Mm, that's funny. That's okay. I'm trying to remember how to do... What is the command for private in Roll20? Slash um, W. And then you'll pick the name. Okay. And, yeah, it's the... The, the long name was getting me a little bit... Okay. Um, so, so good. So right now we're going Should to the forest. The forest then. Continue on. Uh huh. Very yep. good. Kong, make sure this this uh, gun is working again. It's giving me trouble. The hands gun the Kong. I warn you all about guns. They're gross. They leave dust behind and stuff like that, and they break. Alright. They leave also kill things. She just leave it behind. Well, I'm, I'm going to say no. Roy can handle guns. He, he's much more experienced. See, look how civilized this woman is. She she doesn't even use a gun. She uses... Kesty, what That's do you use? I... That's because uh, divine wrath. This, this thing is special. Yeah. We each use what we are best with. Please go speak. Because he looks at you and says, "I am an I am an angel of darkness. What do you think I use?" And she kind of holds out her hands and kind of flares. Uh, the the pure yeah. darkness that she's made of sort of flares off in different directions around her. I'm sure she can handle herself. Uh, do I feel the same thing? No, wait. Uh, well, I guess it's only in the center of the city that had it. Um, well, if you guys are done talking, um, could talk and walk at the same time, kid. Don't worry about that. How are you approaching the forest? As I'm walking in, I'm like, guys, um, I got to tell you something. Um, so I, I followed up with our friend, um, well, my friend, you guys don't know him, um, and he's another one of the competitors. He is planning to attack somebody, not us. So we just wait a minute, and we spring a trap on him and ambush him while he's fighting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm liking the mm. sound. He's in the he's in the forest as well, I suppose. And then then the loser. Um, I don't know, I don't know who the other person is, but when we find him, I can bind him. <laughs> okay. So we need to probably sneak and hide somewhere. I should get a good vantage point for action. All right, let's mm. do it. Yeah, we, s we sneak and hide and look for uh, the ambush. Right. The ambush that he made. Are you trying to read a bad situation as you're coming up to the forest? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. It's not investigated mystery. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll me read a bad situation. Investigate mysteries for kind of looking for clues. Read a bad situation is seems to be something you would do as you're coming up to a place where you're trying to ambush somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yay! Oh. Ten. Good roll. I can ask three. Um, okay, yes, you can ask three questions. Dwayne, you get an experience. Are you up to five yet? I'm at four. <laughs> and Jimmy, you, you can ask... Five and ten. Hmm. Yeah. So, uh, 
who wants to ask questions first? Um, okay, I'll ask, uh, I guess, me. So, first, uh, what's the best way in? Okay. You prob there is a, a, a old, somewhat unused road that you come across as you're going towards the forest. That's probably not the best way in, but it probably leads towards into the, the deeper forest. Because it, there is no cover on that road, but there is a the, the forest itself is very, very dense. So if you go in by the forest but try to keep the road within sight, you might be able to get in with cover. Uh, okay, so we'll go near the road but not on it. Okay. Okay, um, okay that's probably what we know. Uh, are there any dangers we haven't noticed? You actually kind of, you, you, you're looking around as you're going into the forest and you, you stop and you notice something glinting at the base of a tree and you bend down and you pick it up and it looks like a shuriken star like from a ninja movie. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't feel anything strange about it, right? It's well, regular. It's, it's fairly regular itself but yeah, and and when you're looking at that, you start looking around where it dropped, and you find faint traces of lots of feet having passed through here. I mean, you wouldn't have noticed it if if the shuriken hadn't dropped your eye. Mm. So it sounds like the ambush that's being planned is one army against is is being involving a small army of maybe ninja. Yeah. Um, you have one more question. You can save yeah. it later, or you can ask it now. Uh, well, no, I guess I'll ask uh, just what's the best way to put that the victims or probably us. Okay. <laughs> the best way to pre protect the, the the people the people right now is probably to to try to put an end to this uh, to get in and get out as quickly as possible. Um, you don't want to linger and have a long, drawn-out fight. Mm. Okay. You has just that have this instance of of uh, this this line from a movie comes to your head. It's like, are we to be two immortals locked in in eternal battle till the till the trumpets sound? That's the, <laughs> impression, that's the impression you get um, if. If you decide to link, if, if that's what you think you'll get caught up in. Oh. So that's that's what I um I whisper to everyone. I say, uh, when we go, we just need it. Um, forget about the other binding and such. It takes time. Just we try to. Get the other artifact and leave. Really quick. Don't do yeah. any. Don't do any long rituals. Got yeah, not a problem okay. here. Okay. We're going in and out. Okay, Jimmy, you have one hold, one question. Do you want to hold it for now, or and save it for later, or do you want to ask anything? Let's see it. Okay. So you're sneaking through the 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 tree the tree limb the trees, getting closer, mm -hmm. and you you see what's 
what appears to be you, you start seeing uh, the shadows of a of a of a wide estate, kind of coming out of the 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 gloom as you get deeper into the thing, and you get closer and resolves this this large mansion type, a large mansion that just looks more than a little run down, and there is odd motions all over the place. You kind of remember it from just before the skeletons attacked at the community center. These, you're pretty certain that these are, the, this, this is manned by the same sort of spirits and ghosts. But as you're getting closer, you're coming up behind, there's a line of what yet yeah, looks to be ancient samurai and, and ninjas gearing up to start to look like they're getting ready to about storm the, the castle, storm the, the mansion. Hmm. Wait, uh, and the skeleton things are also around? They're in the mansion. They seem to be man being the guard. Oh, okay. Mm. Maybe we should uh, let the, the <laughs> all the ninja kill the skeleton. Perhaps we go in. Probably start before we make our move. Yeah. Get them distracted, then we can sneak in. Mhm. Mm so. We'll wait till uh, they storm that uh, mansion. There was a time I did fight uh, 30 ninjas in the streets of Hong Kong. It was, <laughs> it was a crazy battle. They will jump all over the place, come at you from every angle. Exactly, okay. and we can deal with 30, 30 ninjas. Are you going to go ahead and wait for them? To attack? Uh, yeah, we wait till they storm the castle, then we probably wait a bit li longer, a few minutes, and then sneak in. Okay. Uh, Jimmy, what are you doing? What was the name that I heard uh, while tuning in? The name you heard was Yoni Kovic. Yoni Kovic. You don't right, think so you get the feeling that that's not who is involved in this battle, but that's okay. you asked who he felt was the greatest threat. So, and the the powers that I that I can like that we can feel, um, are they in the castle? No, but you have this strong feeling that both Azriel, who you've already summoned, and these other two that you've sensed since you're asking out loud. Um, are connected to those skeletons and ghosts. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to like um, I'm going to like um, kind of quietly start like moving my feet around and like digging uh, a circle into the into the the dirt. Um, maybe you guys notice. Maybe you guys don't. But I'm going to start summoning. Um, what was his name? Molag something. Wait, wait. Uh, as soon as I see this, I said, Jimmy, Yoni Kovac, Yoni Kovac is probably not... Okay, at this point, you... you, you okay, Yoni Kovac is completely separate. He's part of the tournament. The two entities you felt are outside of the tournament. They're just massively powerful, kind of like Azrael. But you, okay. you're, you think, because you have greed for power, you think you might be able to bind one. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to try to summon one of the powers. Okay. You are going to go ahead and go with it. You're not going to try to resist that urge. Awesome. Okay. Go ahead. Is anybody going to notice? Well, yeah, I said, I said as soon as I seen starting to prepare and reach, I said, Jimmy, we don't have time for rituals. And I whispered it but to him. <laughs> He's like, let's see, he's like, as long as you stand with him. Give him a little shake. Aren't you he, listening? He looks like Clarice, like, like he didn't completely understand what you just said. Like, no time for witchcraft? What do you mean? There's always time for witchcraft. We we need to get out quickly. We, we probably, that, 
that ritual before took you a long time. You know, you know that thing is your show, right? I can just... And I'm going to cast it. Do you want to try? You already got an experience for going ahead, trying to go ahead with this and not resisting. Do you want to just try to cast that and assume that you can do it on a used magic without a big magic? Where'd my pencil go? Uh, what? You want to try to just cast the summoning, because you told her that it was just for show and you can do it like that. You want to try to prove her wrong. That's now mood and rage. And I'll give you another experience. If you try to summon one of those two other great powers that you felt and try to bind them with just use magic and no no big magic. That sounds like big magic. Um, it but is yeah. big magic. But you're, <laughs> right now, you have this urge. You really, really want to prove to her how powerful you are. Because she's yeah. telling you it's not time for this. I'm going to do it. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> right, so I, I, I raise my hand and I snap. I'm going to roll. Uh, damn it. I'm okay. Gonna be stuck with that. I will tell you right now um, if you're going to go ahead and do it, you, are, 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 you can get the call. And due to what's here, they will come. You will fail the binding. I will have Wait, to... but what do you mean by do it? What are you trying to do? Like, He's got a sense of some other great... One of the other bad guys has connected to him three great powers. He is trying to summon one and bind them. Oh, like like he's trying to be like a witch, like a warlord? or like something. He's trying to be a warlock. He is a warlock. He's just trying... To, he's trying to basically... Uh, a, he's trying to basically tame a dragon with a fly swatter. That's fucking stupid. Yes, but I that's, have my, that's what I have my hands like in the air. Um, I'm I, guessing they found. I'm guessing we're getting all these people joining because they found the hangouts and they want to watch. Okay. Taming a dragon with a fly swatter is like taking a shit with a closed asshole. Yeah, uh, please, guys, we are actually role-playing right now. You can watch, and we can save the, con the, the, the things for later. Um, this is an actual ongoing game. Sorry. Oh, shit. My bad. Yeah. Um, at this point, Reverse Flash, we are about... This, this, we had to switch to a new hangout. At this point, we are about two hours or so into... Um, in two or three hours into the game. Um, I, I can try to do this uh, another scenario or the same scenario in another um, another pickup game. But right now, um, we are already about two two thirds of the way done with this one. So uh, at this point, it would be a little bit difficult to get all of you started with the playbook and such. Add out to the warlord. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So I'm like sitting there, like I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna if you don't let me do this. And I will tell you right now, I'm not going to ask you to reuse magic. What's going to happen is you're all going to have to flee from whatever it is he summons when he gets pissed off and he tries to find it. You want to try to persuade him not to do it. Um. Can I? Well, like I can try. Uh, can I manipulate her? Let you? Oh no, cause she. Oh wait, yeah. Never mind. Uh, I think it's her. It's her go, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to persuade him because I don't want to. I don't want. So, I'm just okay. like sitting there, like my in the air, like, so let me do it properly, please. Okay. Um, at that point, actually, I'm going to ask you to do manipulate other on them. So please go ahead, roll me manipulate other. Okay. Charm. Me or uh, I don't know why they're blocking me. Um. Uh, 
They're dumb kids. Yeah, they're, yeah definitely. I mean, I mean, they're coming in in the middle about two hours into it, and the, some of them were very polite, just asking, "Can I talk?" But yeah. Okay. So that is a ten. This is the way manipulate other works against PC. If you let him go ahead with the ritual as he wants to do it, you get to mark experience and you get a plus one on your next roll. You Keep don't have to. What I'm trying to do is not summon it willy nilly. I'm trying to do the no, actual ritual. You're trying, to to them, yeah, you're trying to convince them to let you just do it on a, the proper way. So you're trying to convince both of us? Yeah. Let him do the ritual, because otherwise he's saying, "I will." If you don't let me do it properly, I will just do it now, with no preparation. Oh, and if and if, we, and if we let him, if we let him in mark of spirit. Yes, that's what when you manipulate other, when you manipulate another hunter and you succeed, they can still choose whether or not to agree with you. But if they do, they get experience. Um. Well, I. I guess I. I, I now trust Jimmy more, so yeah. I guess I'll let him do it. Okay. Look, kid. What I know about magic isn't a whole lot, so I'm gonna have to trust you on this. Don't fuck up. Okay. All right. And I just go like I dig around for like a stick or something. I just start drawing it. Okay. Um. Now, as you're sitting there watching, um. I'm going to have to ask. I'm going to ask. Let's see. One of you, you're noticing that the, the battle starts going off. The ninjas and the samurai start moving forward on the on the mansion. You're hearing the sounds of horrendous screaming. Like the only thing you can think of is is a banshee or something like it. And, and dogs baying and the sounds of uh, Japanese war cries. You see this one guy. He's not wearing hardly any armor, and he's just, he's got a really nice uh, katana, and he's sort of teleporting all over the place, striking things down. All and right. besides, besides that, you also find something like a, a death knight. It's like an ancient armor, head, and everything. It looks like kind of vaguely Scottish thing, carrying a, a huge claymore. Um, Wading into the fight as well, uh, cost, casting aside uh, samurai and, and ninjas, raising them up as he kills them, that kind of thing. Okay, so avoid that guy. <laughs> and you also have this feeling that neither of them have used their artifacts yet; they're just using their own abilities. So I'm going to ask. Um, let's see. All three of you, okay, how are you going to go do this ritual? Tell me what you're doing. I know you're going to need a circle. You're going to need some way to bind things. Okay. All right, so I drew, um, this time I drew, like, a different symbol. Uh, okay. Instead of, like, the, the, the star, I draw, like, the, like, you know, like, sacred geometry? I draw, yeah. I draw like, the, um, like, a 20-sided shape, basically. Um, and I'm, I'm going to like, like I'm assuming like the more advanced it is, like the more time it takes to like draw, yeah. and then also like the more powerful it is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically the, the plan here. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you to uh, act under pressure. Um, everybody to try to stay hidden. Also, um, <laughs> um, and, and to get your your geometry done correctly. Um, okay. cool. What are we rolling? Act under pressure is plus cool. Can Cass help me? Uh, oh. No, because she is an extension of you. I'm using a point of luck. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna be using a point of luck. No. <laughs> yep. Okay. So all of you are managing to stay hidden. Um, Clarissa, would you like to maybe uh, 
help him out in his ritual so that when he summons this thing, it doesn't kill you all? Yeah. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, or you could have Kong do it. Either way, you're all free. You're pretty much just staying undercover while looking for a, waiting for a time to snatch uh, stuff up. Yeah, I, I'm because uh, I'm tr I'm trying to protect everyone. Uh, even that that's even more priority than getting that artifact. But right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll to help me then. Gong, Gong. Yes, I, I'm actually assuming that you could have used the sickle to cut away wounds and okay. throw the injuries at a tree. So that's right. fine. Okay. I can do it on object, too. Yes, you can. <laughs> well, they are alive. Yeah, Not you actually, in the first time I ran through this, somebody used a, uh, uh, the sickle to fix their car. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they, cut the, they cut the damage out of the car and transferred it to a wall. The best, um, the best use of the sickle, right there. It's the best. best looking mechanic I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. The of mechanical engineering. <laughs> it it cuts away damage, is what it does. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to need, uh, since it's going to be, uh, I'm going to actually ask either uh, Dwayne or Shirley to roll help me so that uh, he can get his plus one. Okay. Uh, get up to a ten. Uh, uh, the help out. The help out. Yeah. It's Sorry, what skills are based on? Oh no! Now I get. Now I get the six. All right. Okay. Do you want to keep that six? Because you're really low on luck right now. Uh yeah, I'm saving it for later. Okay. I'll get experience. Please. Okay, good. Um, fine. Okay. Where is uh, Kong or Troy going to try to help? Probably not Troy. Um, yeah, um, Kong will help. Okay. Um, he studied a little bit under uh, Medicine Man. Okay. So he has some experience with this sort of thing. So you managed to give a plus one over so that uh, um, Jimmy gets a 10 on his act under pressure. Now, Jimmy, I'm going to have to ask you to make a use magic. For whatever reason, the camera is not working right now, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, Jimmy, good, good. Now, Jimmy, tell me, one or two? Two. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you fell for his trap. Oh, you okay. fell for my trap. Okay. Uh, this time, a crack seems to open up out of the the ground where the uh, where you had the circle. How big was this circle? Pretty big, probably. I think. Like part of the magic of it is that it adjusts to like the size of the creature that I summon. Okay, okay, it's it spreads out to I'll say about six a six foot radius circle, and you're seeing what look like steps going down into cavernous deeps, and you hear this kind of limping click, click, click. Slowly this form comes into the shape and you're seeing the left side come in and this this looks like sort of a zombie, one arm sort of hanging and the the dead rotten uh, arms and legs sort of very weak, kind of uh, difficultly moving forward and it, you hear that again, a click and you see a walking stick come forward in a perfectly healthy and living, perfectly formed right woman's right hand. <laughs> Click, and again, comes or starts turning around the corner of these, these stepping stairs, 
and you can see the face now, and one half is this rotting, dead woman's face with stringy hair, and the other is a perfectly beautiful, dark-haired woman. I turn to, I turn to uh, Clarice, Clarissa. I'm just like, I told you I could do it. I'm hardly focused. But what did you bring? Troy <laughs> steps protectively between Clarissa and whatever this is. It comes off. It seems doing the click and dragging along its zombie leg, the zombie left side. Click, stepping up, and then comes up. It, it looks like it, about a, a woman, maybe in her mid 20s, about 5 foot 7, 5 foot, somewhere between 5 foot 5 and 5 foot 7. But she's hunches, kind of, so it's hard to get a good gauge of her, her, her height. And looks over all of you, and then latches eyes on Jemmy. Why am I summoned here? Hi, I'm Jimmy, destroyer of the world. Um, I need a favor from you. Remember, you wanted to bind her to your service. Yes. Um, I need um, your service. You, you dare to bind me to your service? Yeah. Oh, okay. And she looks down and kind of scans the 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 floor around you where you you put the uh, the circle, and at one point you see one eyebrow sort of rise and she stops standing and sort of fixates on a certain point and then looks up at you. And what in the, the very the anger is just sort of very suspiciously dissipated and is asking you in a very calm and one a very beautiful voice saying, What is it you wish of me? I wish only for your services during this fight. Not for this fight, for this uh, tournament. I want you to help us ensure our victory. We have agreed not to interfere in the tournament. But right now you're trapped. So you might have to, have to deal with that first. I can release you, but we'd have to make a deal. A deal? You break your pact, and you help us. She leans forward and kind of sniffs at you. And what deals have you already made? He's also in the tournament. She, she's also in the tournament. Uh, we made an alliance with her. Um, I think Astrophel uh, was summoned. Azrael. Azrael. He, we didn't make a deal with him. We just like let him free, basically. Um, yeah, that's about it. Why? Hmm. Shouldn't we get moving soon before this fight winds down? This is yeah, that's my a good point. We, we don't have a lot of time, so I guess you should make your decision soon. Yeah. This is my deal for you. I will serve you in this tournament if you become my servant once I am free. Hmm. Once you are free. Okay. Here are the gears clicking in that kid's head. Okay, did you just say okay? I, I said, once you are free, I will I will serve you. And I just get like a like a an, not um sort of an innocent yet still wry smile. Yeah, once you're free. Do you remember when Clarissa tried to help you and rolled a six and didn't spend a luck? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. She said, I'm low on luck. I'm not helping that guy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, then I'm not going to do that. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like, uh, I'm going to, like, uh, give her, like, the, the innocent smile. And I'm going to, like, twist around a little bit. And I'm like, um, that sounds like a good deal, but how about this? 
I'm gonna roll manipulate. Okay, where is it? You're gonna roll manipulate. Uh, normally, you cannot manipulate uh, things on this scale, but she's not exactly the monster of the of the scene. So I'll go ahead and let you do this. Okay, so manipulating thing. What is the deal you want to ask her? I will. I will. You will help me. And once you're free, I will grant you the souls of ten humans. What the hell are you talking about, kid? Did you can shush, shush, shush. I'm I'm making deals. No no no. You cannot you cannot speak for the souls of others. I want your soul when I am free. Okay, after my body is dead, you can have his soul. I will agree to that. I, I extend my hand past the circle. She doesn't, okay, she actually just kind of stretches out and swats the circle. There's this little spot that Clarissa was helping you, helping you build. It just shatters and everything comes out from it. And she reaches up to shake, to shake your hand. You now belong to hell. Aww. Well, my body... Well, technically I already belonged in hell, but... Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't belong in hell. You belong to... And she points to herself. Hell. Hell, okay. Oh, hell. Oh. The name is hell. <laughs> nice name. All right. The first thing, first point of order, um, there are ninjas outside. Yeah, it looks like the ninjas and samurai are getting, are, are being, uh, are slowly being withered away. They're better fighters, but they die. Uh, yeah. And you see that uh, teleporting samurai guy and the and the deaf knight battling for, or battling at each other and tearing at tearing at each other. At some point, as you're watching, the entire there's, there's a flash of bright fire, and the samurai starts getting uh, starts. The samurai was trying to teleport, and it just seems to split, and he falls, kind of shuddering and shaking on his sword, but at the same time, sort of reaches out to cut up, cut at the uh, the death knight's hand, and it goes flying with this dagger, the, this dagger being held in the hand, way off to the edge. And at the same time, you can see, um, after that, the Deaf Knight get, growls and also swoops out to cut off the other his, the, the samurai's hand, and it starts flying. You can see kind of a bracelet off it in the other direction. Oh. Um, I have a sense that's the bracelet... Is something is an artifact. You you kind of get the idea of the bracelet. Uh, go ahead and roll investigate for that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a minus one because you because because. Oh, so. That's a nine. Okay, so a nine. Because, yeah. Because uh, because um, Troy told a story earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Not a good so story. One, just one question. One question. So it went flying, right? It cut yeah. off its. Uh, so where did it go? <laughs> one went in. Uh, one hand went in one direction of the battle. The other hand went in the other direction of the battle. Oh, so I guess I don't know which hand. Uh, I. Told to Jimmy, I'm not sure I need. I can speak with the hell, but I said, Jimmy, Jimmy, we need that uh, bracelet on his hands. So maybe, maybe hell can help and bring it. Well, artifacts. I love artifacts. Let's do it. 
Yeah. Tell her to bring the hands of that uh, knight. Both okay. of them. Okay. You want Hell to bring to, to bring the, the artifacts to you? Yeah. I think I'll go for one and she goes for the other. Because they're on like opposite side of the battlefield. Yep. Uh, and you want me no. to take up the creatures? Uh, take hell, okay, hell, maybe hell, and I will go to the other side. I can just go If I might, yeah. you might suggest if you're going to go for one direction, you might head off towards where the samurai's hand was cut off. I have business with the dead one. Okay. Hell, mm. you do what you do. Okay. Okay, you go and I'll just run that. I run as quickly as I can. Just so was the as fast the as I can, one? just go and. As they say in France, allons-y. Okay. Yep. So in this case, you're going to run as quick. All three of you are going to run as quickly as you can towards the samurai's hand. Okay. Yep. The samurai has hand cut off, so the black knight is still up and good, right? They both lost a hand. Both lost a hand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to run there. I've had time to study them, so I'd like to use uh, my killer's wisdom. Go ahead. Why is my camera not working? Oh well. Okay. So I have a uh, two hold I can use to do various things. Okay, got it. Okay, so you're running off towards it, and you guys, uh, it takes you a little bit of time to to, um, to sort get through the the, the field trying to um, trying to find where the hand was is. And as you reach the hand, you notice just a kind of almost in slow motion as you're as who is reaching down to pick up the hand or the, the bracelet on it. Uh, well I'm the greedy one, so yeah, it's not me. Well I'll I wanna go get the bracelet. Okay. Um, it's it's either so Dwayne, uh, so Jimmy or Clarissa. You both seem to suggest that you're going to get it. Uh, which one would it be? Did they both reach for it. Okay. Um, okay. Reach for the same time. Yeah, I need, I need off. both to roll. Act under pressure. Okay. I've got my elephant gun ready. Nine. Seven. Nine and seven? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are reaching for it just as you notice a burst of, of some sort of energy or smoke in front of you and you remembered that the, the samurai can teleport. So you're able yeah. to get out of the way just before this the slash of a sword comes out. And he starts moving in to stab down at um I'm we'll, gonna shoot. we'll say we're gonna say Jimmy since he rolled lower. I'm gonna blast him with my elephant gun. You're gonna hit him with the elephant gun? Yep. Okay, uh, go ahead, uh, act under pressure to avoid shooting your friends. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'll spend a, a luck for that. How much luck do you have left? I think I have a lot of luck, according to this thing. You started Four. with three. This is a one shot. You started with three. Okay. Uh, yeah. no, left. Huh? I have one left. Okay, so you're not doomed yet. So that's, that's a right. call. You managed to shoot him out of the way before he can lay a blow on, on Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. what are you doing? I'm gonna Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trap the the samurai. Okay. Go so ahead. I extend my, I extend my hands gonna, out. That's gonna and be use magic. Yeah. Does it matter how much damage I did to him? Uh yes, you did do damage to him. It's just automatic. Okay. Because uh, I have, I took that skill of uh, finish him, so I get to actually add some damage if I. Go ahead. Yes, I am familiar with with finish him. Never mind. I don't, add any damage. I don't any damage. I open myself up to harm. Okay. But you do get another experience point. Yeah. <laughs> this is why Troy is so experienced. He fails so much. <laughs> yeah. I shot him. Yeah, you did. Okay. So, Jimmy, uh, you're going to be using magic. Did you already roll? Is that the 12? Yeah. Okay. So you managed to bind the 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 samurai into place where he where he is. Um, uh, describe your binding. All right. So I extend my hands, and from my hands, um, from my palms, uh, come these like like eldritch chains, basically, and they just wrap around him and like they embed themselves in the in the ground. And I just I just like you shouldn't be teleporting like that. You're really going to scare some people. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do my heart any good, I'll tell you. And he kind of like shakes his head at you. It's like, boy, you meddle in things beyond you. Clarissa, you're looking down at... You, you happen to look down at Jimmy's feet, and you see the severed hand sort of reaching back toward the bracelet, which is a bunch of rosary beads, and holding on to one of the beads. Um... Well, I see that I saw that Jimmy bind that samurai, so I just reach for that uh, beads bracelet and grab it, and, and yells, "Troy and Jimmy, just run!" <laughs> and I run also. You're gonna go run, run for the for the uh, the the beads. Okay, I'm gonna ask yeah, you. Run for the beads. You're going to die for the beads before the hand can re can release it. Yeah. What happens if you use up your luck and go to doomed? What happens is I can, right now, I am not supposed to do hard moves against you unless you fail a roll or you do something as express that, that really opens up to me doing a hard move to you. That's stuff like just doing damage. I have to set it up that something really bad is going to happen first. If you go to zero luck, I am allowed to just say something comes out of the blue and, and hurts you. Okay. All right. And other such bad things. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So you're saying I should have shot Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, go ahead and roll me protect other, please. Um, me? Yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, while while she's rolling that behind you, you can look, and Hell is just sort of slowly walking towards where oh. the ant was. And every undead thing that tries to get in her path just disintegrates without her having any sort of effort. That didn't seem like much fun. I to the samurai, just like I think, I think we're gonna win. Okay, you Famous managed. Last words. Okay, you managed to grab to to grab hold of the bead uh, to get on top of the beads. Um, as they burst out, and uh, at bur you're going to give Jimmy enough time to get clear of this before it goes through. But the beads sort of burst out in a, in a, and start growing into a weight writhing hedge maze of thorns that starts growing Ooh. out from where the, the bead was dropped. And you're right at ground zero for it. So you're scratched up and take free harm. Okay, uh, let's just, uh, I'm just looking at my Okay, 
Okay, and because of the resilience, I get just two harm. Oh, right, because resilience reduces it to two harm, plus you're wearing yeah. armor. So, so you, take, one. you take only one harm. Yeah. You are friggin'. Yeah. If you get invincibility, you're like almost. Yeah. Invincibility and immortal. You would be the hardest thing in the world to kill. I'm, uh, I'm like, uh, I'm like in, uh, <laughs> unbreakable. <laughs> oh, cads, unbreakable. Oh. And here I am stepping in front to protect her, and she's tougher than I am. She's the chosen. <laughs> Yeah, that's supposed to be the chosen. And if she dies, she comes back to life almost instantly. I yeah, did that's like I did Buffy. Her, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the samurai is at least round two or three, but he's the one that basically summoned it. Uh, at least he had. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Clarissa, you have the... You have the, the, this bead was summoned by the samurai, but you now have, while you're getting scratched up by these vines and you're being tangled up in them, you have the rosary in your hands now. Um, Jimmy, this thing is, is go and Jimmy and Troy, this thing is coming and growing out from you. It looks hostile. Uh, you're going to need act under pressure rolls to get, get out of the job, to get out of dodge. Watch your step. The ground cover here is terrible. Ooh. Okay, Troy, you you you've actually encountered something like this before. This this you've you fought a, a, a an intelligent man-eating plant somewhere in the de deepest darkest of uh, Bangkok. No, <laughs> um, somewhere that has. As uh, wilds and plants, and Jimmy, what is your role at uh, under pressure? Cool, plus cool. Seven. Okay, you're going to get clear. You're not going to get tangled up in the vines the way uh, Clarissa is right now at the center of this one that was summoned by the samurai, uh, Nasato. But you are going to get torn up a little bit on your way out, so you're going to have uh, two harm as you escape the range of the of the swirling pan plants. Okay? Come try to help Jimmy. Um, I will let you roll a help for Kong to try to help Jimmy since he is uh, an extension of you, yes. A plus one. Uh, okay, at that point, Kong takes the damage instead of Jimmy. Okay. Okay. It's actually protect rather than uh, uh, help because help wouldn't do much. It would just give a plus one. But anyway. So, what's your feet, on, sir? Yeah. Quick question. Um, the other attacker. Yes. Um, is he still around? Uh, he's actually over there kind of uh, in a in a kind of trying to approach hell and being unable to all right then here's what I'm going to do I'm going to jinx him um, I focus on him and I, I I manifest on my malice and all my greed um, and all the rage and I channel it into him um, when you are right, I can encourage strange coincidences to occur when he drinks a target, roll plus weird. Right. I, I got it in front of me. So please roll plus weird. You got... Ten. Um, so, I'm going to, I, I get to hold two, um, you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Um, I'm going to interfere with, with what a monster minion or bystander is trying to do. Um, I'm going to make sure he, so maybe he, like, trips or, like, people start getting in his way for some reason. Um, yeah, so he... I'm going to interfere with him getting to 
uh, health, and then the target loses something that you will so find. Uh, I'm gonna have him lose. Is there something that like he's using, um, like something that I can tell is like useful to him? It's not necessary. I get to decide what he loses. Yeah. Okay. So he loses something that I will so find. You will soon find. Yep. Okay. And as you, you, you do that, um, uh, um, you you turn and look back, and uh, he's chasing. He's kind of moving out towards Hell, who's complain who who just turns back to him and says, and basically says, "I no longer care about you. Leave." And kind of flicks her her hand away and throws him back. And he starts. She starts walking towards you, holding a the dagger that he was had in his hand. Here you are. Wait, who, who she kind of, flicks back? Who she flicks back? She kind of smiles, very grotesquely, because it's half beautiful, half decayed. Hands you in her decayed hand this this uh, dagger. Here you are, young, and she kind of slurs this word, master. Thank you. Okay. Was this hard, was it? Can I um, um, use my psych sickle, sickle um, and to remove my my harm to the plants that entangle me? You want to use your to, uh, yes, you can cut it. Just you can use it to cut. Yes, because yeah, it's part of your weapon. Yes, to cut for me and uh, to the the trees <laughs> that entangle me. And you're also holding the rosary, so you can try to take control of the plants. Oh, so that's a uh, so <laughs> so. If that the rosary control the plants, I just move back, go, go back to the ground. Okay, I'm going to ask you to roll act under pressure, so plus cool on that, because it's not the actual move the rosary is designed to do, but it fits. Mm, okay. Yep. Yeah, the 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 plants just curl out from you, leave you in the middle, just clean and easy, and starts wrapping up and tearing apart the samurai, who just continues, even when he's a decapitated head, to glare and, and glare at you. And his bo it dis uh, dis dis dismembered body parts are still moving and starting trying to get close to each other. Damn, she's sexy when she does things like that. <laughs> You've got both artifacts... Later. <laughs> At this point, Hell does ask, is there anything else you want of me right now? Um, for now, you can stand by. Good. And I, I turn my attention back to Masato. I'm just like, Masato, I warned you about this. And, and somehow he manages to talk, even though his, his head is disconnected from his lungs. He's like, you don't know what you... Given yourself. Okay. So I you've given myself a thing. I've and, given myself a thing. Yeah. And Hell does turn to you and say, then I suggest you leave. I have some messages to give. And you look back look back at she, she glances off towards uh, the Death Knight who's kind of standing up. And you see forming, in the, you can see somewhere in the distance this cloud of ravens starting to form up on one side of him. As that same tear in the in the space that Azrael came through forms up on the other side of him. Yeah. As soon as that, just I'm running, grabbing Jimmy's hand, Troy's hand, and running out of the forest. I'm with her. 
And also, Jimmy, when you touched her hand, you felt really kind of cold for some reason. Interesting. You got a Hell's hand? You no, you 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 touched Hell's hand because uh, when she handed you the dagger. Um. So it, we have one more artifact to get, right? Yes, you do. And there is, you think, one of the two places you know is in the city, and one is up in the mountains. So the question is, which one was the samurai using? Do you think? I'm going to say you get out because everybody is well distracted with between you summoning go the Norse goddess of the dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Seems and, unlikely a samurai would be in a rundown part of town. Yes. Not a samurai. No, we, but I just we, I just we call did our like, job. We need to get out of it. I call it to hell. All right, it's time to go. You said you you were going to let her go at the moment, so you said to stand. To oh, have her go on standby. Yeah. Well, she will vanish until you call her. Then. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. So if I call out to her, she'll appear. That's the thing. Yes. Okay. Oh. So we're running out of the forest. Yeah. Um, and um, uh, as soon as we get a um, sort of clear, clear way, safe way, uh, we yes. stop and uh, I, w I want to kill everyone with the cycle. Uh, just okay. Using, using the cycle and just cutting wounds and. Throwing them into walls or something. Okay. Well, them into and roll me plus weird once. Yeah. Once. Okay. Ah, just once? Okay. Oh, it's seven. What okay. does it mean? Well, you're going to be able to heal everybody. You're, you're, you don't have a major mess, mess up where you actually hurt somebody. Oh, okay. Or you hurt yourself, rather. Um... So you're fine. Uh, <laughs> Kung bows to you. Thank yeah. you, madam. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I think I think Larry. it's uh, one arm less. I'm sorry. No, no. It's. It, you're, I'm, I'm just going to say you're able to cut away most of the the, the wounds and throw them on trees. I just wanted oh, okay. to fail on something. See if anything else. Well, I will will note that uh, Jimmy, you still feel a little bit cold. What? Yeah, I still I'm feel just really cold. Cold. You don't know why. I just like um, I just start like shivering basically. I'm just like. No, no, no. You're not really sure what it is. It just is a sense of something a little bit off. I should have brought a coat. Yeah. Doing it right there, Jimmy. Do you have a coat? Um, I've got my coat. I'm just going to drag need, on the we ground. We need to go to the hotel. because. Con, Con give him your coat. Con. Con will hand, hand over his coat. Thank you, Con. Suffering manner. So, okay. so, basically after that, I'm looking at the map and... Yeah. So you're going to go ahead towards the the town, um, and While you're, you're hearing from Casillas like, "What kind of maniac are you? I knew you were reckless." Sorry. Yeah, you, 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 Jimmy. I uh, don't understand. Oh, well, it's a little weird, but not crazy. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think he has a few Figure. screws in this. Yeah. Okay. I will note um, you you head back towards the you get back to the the hotel and Jimmy, you take one harm. Okay. 
You're not sure why. I'm just like shivering like fucking hell. <laughs> fucking cursed me. She did something. Troy lays his hand on your shoulders. Are you going through puberty, son? I just like start like shaking my head like she did something. Who did? Uh, Try to investigate things. I'll I'll do it, but I'm bad at it. <laughs> Anybody can. Um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get experience somehow. Okay. Investigate. Sure. All right, well. Okay, so you get one question. If I really mean, I could spend a hold and make you fail. Do it. Um. What happened to gamer? Did is is uh, gamer girl still here? Because I don't steer her. No. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. she dropped out. She's still. So I'm going to like, examine my body basically, and just like, what happened here? Okay. Um. What happened? Okay, you you've got sort of signs that. Uh, you're you're seeing sort of a a, a a bruising type thing. You think you've got internal bleeding. I'm gonna summon hell. <laughs> okay. So we're in our hotel room, right? Yes, you are. Yeah, so I, I I call her name. Is she appear? Okay. Yeah, she does sort of appear what? and come up behind you uh, come up where right in yes, what is it you wanted? What the fuck did you do to me? What did you do? I did not do I did not do anything to you. Give me a moment, I'm trying to see if I can get uh, gamer girl invited back in. Because I have, this is friggin' annoying. Did her, okay, is she online? She seemed to be having fun. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I really love this game. I have yeah, no idea why. I'm I'm having fun. <laughs> I think, it's, I, get, I think it's because I get to be the asshole. Yeah. As long as everybody's having fun with my over-the-top, not very good character. Well, that's fine. We made this up on a fly, and it's a one-shot thing. May I ask, which system is this? This is Monster of the Week. Oh, Monster of the Week. Can't remember me of Dungeon World. It's... Same, it's uh, based on the same system. They're both powered by the apocalypse. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Gotcha. And both of them are hacks of Apocalypse World. I think Gamer Girl dropped in general. Um, okay. So we will continue going and say that she is... Uh, we'll see what, what happens if she gets back. Um, okay. Okay. Gonna play hell with my plans to drag her into the bedroom, but all right. Okay. Anyway, what you what you're doing is like, uh, what you what were you asking? Hell. I'm just like, what did you do to me? I didn't do anything to you. Don't lie to me, hell. You didn't ask me to do anything. I, I am to help you and serve you and do and perform your commands, but I did not do anything to you. You do know if you break your pact, you serve both ends of the deal. Oh yes, I do, but I have not done anything to you. If you want, you can roll investigate a mystery with her uh, to try to get a, a question out of her. 
Investigate a mystery. Because talking to people is a form of investigation. I might have to get lucky on this one. Yes. Yeah. Um. So I have. I have. I've already used one. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. So You've already used one. one. You only had one. Um. Hmm? Okay, you only had one. Second. Ah, go away. Not you. Ah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, you only had one, but you already used it. You're rolling it again. Did you roll? You got a six. That is a fail. You don't have any questions. If I have two luck left, right? Yeah. Huh? I have two luck left, right? Yes, you do. I don't think I'm. I I can't fail this, so I'm gonna have to take it. Okay. So you have for investigate two questions, and one of those can be what is being concealed here. What? One of the two questions for investigate is what is being concealed here, which is basically what you were asking. Okay. Yeah. What's being concealed here? And. She's saying, I haven't done anything to you. Something has, was already wrong. You haven't asked to have it fixed. Um, then I'm just going to ask her, like, what happened here? Like, be, give me a real answer, please. Okay. You were injured. You, she has healed some of the shallow damage, but she can't save everyone. She did spin luck earlier, and I've been, and it's been having to. I, I, that means I have to have her, her doom come up. Okay. I'm just like, oh, okay. I'm just like, ah, I'm still cold. Am I still cold? Yes, you are, and you're also unstable. So you're going to continue losing harm whenever I want. And I'm kind of stalling to see if Gamer Girl can get back on. I just like lock eyes with her and just like, just remember, Hell. I don't have to find out if you're lying. If you break your pact. You'll serve. If you break your pact, it will happen regardless. I am well familiar with pacts, young man. All right, just making sure. You don't want to serve me for. You don't want. You know. And you still have a that would do me very nicely. I just like I start like pondering what it would be like to have the soul of a death god. I'm just like, hmm. Um, okay. No, uh, and um, okay. Anything else? Anything else you want of me, master? No. No. Okay. Then I will leave. So you know, you're suffering from internal bleeding right now. Yeah. I don't know if we're able to cure that. Well, uh, you're probably not in the best condition to do it yourself. Um, and you don't think it will work if Clarissa tries it because, well, she's already tried to kill you once. But there is somebody else here who knows a little bit about magic. Is it? Is it? Well, there's Casile and there's Kong. 
and try to make you sta stabilize your injury so you're no longer bleeding internally. Speaking of Casile, um, I'd like so I, I'd like to call Kong in and by like extension also um, Luke, not Luke, uh, Troy. And while he's like, well, Kong is bandaging me, um, I sort of like pull Troy in close and just like, we're going to have to kill Casile soon. We're going to have to what? We're going to have to kill Casile soon. All right. I thought, oh, how many of them are left? There's two left. Two left? I think, if you want my opinion, I think we should deal with Casile first. Why is that? You think she's going to trick us? I think uh, she'll keep her deal until the last moment. I don't think she'll trick us. I think we should trick her. Let's wait at least one more. Okay, gamer girls, have given me a note, so let me see if I can. Okay. Uh, let me know how. Okay, big storm fell. She says a big storm suddenly came. Let me know how it ends because I might not get back soon. So she's giving us permission to go. All right. Okay. So I'm going to say Clarissa has gone off on her own. Oh, that's a bummer. Do you remember a certain thing from the beginning of the game, Jimmy? Hmm? Do you remember something from the beginning of the game? That she had the artifact. Well, you had a premonition. Um... It was like her fulfilling a dark prophecy or whatever. Yep. Um, yeah, so I, she's like, we have, alright, so here's, here's, I, I think what we should do, we need to, we need to keep track of, we need to keep track of Clarissa, because if we don't, bad things will happen, and not the bad things that I want to happen. Um, I'm going to watch out for her, I care about the, I care about her. Yep. I, I know you do. And, and you you think she's probably heading towards the community center because she seemed especially drawn towards that. And she's probably taken the rosary and the sickle with her. So what we, we need to do... Artifact. We need to go with her. Not with her, but go behind her. Um, yeah, but don't we still need the lost artifact? I have a feeling with that uh, as coming as close as it is, the, fi the fifth person might end up there. Up, up coming to the location anyway. All right. So here's my idea. I can do something. Um, I can get her amulet. I think that's her artifact. Um, when um, we can just let her let her go to sleep, and then when she wakes up, we'll be we'll just be gone. You're going to put put Casile uh, to sleep, is what you're saying? Does she not sleep already? Um, Clarissa is walked out. Clarissa, the chosen gamer gamer girl's character, has walked out the building. Oh no, I was talking about um. Casile. So similar names of uh, uh, Casile. Yeah, Seal does not normally sleep, but because she has turned aside from her her assigned station as an agent of heaven, you could probably affect her with a sleep spell. All right. Well, what can do with magic? Night, Dominic. Oh, he's already gone. Um. Yeah, you think she, it's pretty obvious she's going to be a danger sooner or later, so. I'm fine making a move on her. I'll back your play, kid. Okay. Go ahead and use magic to put her to sleep. Okay. Can we not do it in the hotel? Yeah, you can do it in the hotel. Use magic, not big magic. It's only going to take you use magic to put Cassiel to sleep. Okay. 
is a shadow of her former power. I mean, she's more than human. You want me to shoot her? I thought you were going to put her to sleep, not kill her. I'm, uh, I'm, that's why I'm clarifying with Jimmy. He wanted my help, so. We won't kill her if we don't have to. All right. Okay. Uh, is that 2d6 plus 2 you use magic roll? What? Is that 7 you use magic roll? Yes. Okay. So you're going to have a glitch. You get to choose the glitch, and I get the specifics. I decide the specifics. Um, so the glitches for use magic include the effect is weakened, the effect is short duration, you take one harm in your armor, the magic draws immediate unwelcome attention, it has a problematic side effect. So which one so do you want? to choose one or you get to choose one? Okay. So I'll tell you right now, if I choose one, it's going to be one harm. I mean, it says you get to pick the glitch. Yes. Uh, wait a minute. No. No, you pick the effect and the glitch. I decide the specific effect of the glitch. Oh. Um... So, is it, am I describing what happens? No, you tell me which of the glitches you want, I describe what happens. Okay, um... The effect is weakened. Mm, no, I'll take the damage. Okay, you are now at 2 5 Wow. Oh, by the way, did, did they heal me? They haven't healed you yet. I don't think they rolled for the use magic to heal you yet. Yeah, not yet. Because I think Kong was going to heal me. I think yeah. we're deciding whether it was going to be Clarissa or Kong. Clarissa is out because the gamer girl can't get back in. So it's going to be Kong. Okay. All right, so Kong will try to heal you. What, what do you want me to roll? Uh, plus weird, because this is used magic. Weird, okay. Weird's not good. Bam. You got an ace, so you're going to have a glitch. Okay. You want the effect is weakened, the effect is of short duration, that you take one harm, uh, which would be Kong. The magic yeah. draws immediate unwelcome attention, problematic, or problematic side effects. Um, it's weakened. Okay, so you are no longer unstable, but you still have two harm. Okay. You are not going to. You are not going to continue taking harm when I decide you pick a harm. Yeah, he's not good with magic. He has a smattering of knowledge. Right. Okay. So. At this point, you guys hear the sound of thunder outside, and you look out, and there is because Casil is asleep in the in the bedroom, and you hear the sound of thunder, and you look out, and it appears to be raining blood. Uh, I remember the last time this happened. Well, that's not ominous. You want to actually roll and investigate mystery to see if he actually has seen this happen before? Um, sure. I'm going to give you a minus one from those holds you gave me earlier, so go ahead and roll your sharp minus one. I've seen these things. Uh, investigate mystery. Um, so I get to one... Um, what can it do? <laughs> oh, you know what this is. If it if it it turns it drives people into rage-filled uh, killers. It's like uh, uh, the rain of this rain of blood is some sort of major ritual used by a, this cult to 
seed chaos in a city? It was a long time ago, many years ago, but uh, blood rained down from the sky and people went mad. Started attacking each other in a crazed manner. So we should take all protection we can. Kong, get the umbrellas out. <laughs> Drake, 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 Drake sticks out his hand that? and Kong puts the umbrella right into it. Smack. Okay, Jimmy? Troy, would you mind pulling that door off its hinges? Pulling the door off its hinges? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. I will do that. Does he need to make a roll for it, or just do it? I'm going to pop the hinges I, off. You can just take it off. I'm not going to make you do it. If I don't okay. see anything, I'm fine with you just doing it. Okay. All right. All right. I take out... I take out the dagger that I pulled from the other guy. Okay. Um, and I start drawing a circle um, in in the wood. And I just say, we don't need we don't need umbrellas. We just hold this above us. Okay, I like that. Um, I'll let you do it. I'm going to even I won't even make you roll use magic. Um, I'll let you if you're going to go through town hiding under a door. I'll let you do that. We've got one big problem. <laughs> that problem's me. I'm much taller than two of you. Yeah. That's just that's fine. Then you hold it. Yeah, I can't hold it without. You know, two people should be holding it. One each end, and you're both much stronger me. than I am. Just shut up and help me. Hey, watch your mouth, kid. I'm still your elder. I can wash that out with soap. Oh please! I've been I've been alive for millennia. Okay. Okay, I have to look that up. Okay. This is where you help me out so I don't get glitches. Okay. I guess we're gonna. I will um, rig up a couple of pieces of wood. Holder so uh, Kong can hold it, and the door will be level over. So right now, right now, if he's at the nine, I'm going to still make it. They're un, they're ungainly and hard to hold. So if you okay. can help, if Kong can help him out, do you want to help me? Sure. So that's plus cool. So maybe I like draw the circle wrong, but like the ends don't meet up, and like you should probably circle that. I think he just it's, like I said, he just attaches some some handle so we can hold it without yes. actually having to hold onto the door itself, because then our hands and arms would be exposed. Uh, okay, I'm just having a flashback to one of the scenes from my Divine Blood novel, where where hell. There's, it's a different setting, but there is hell in that too. And she's been, she's going to, she's reincarnated to early, earlier to relive her childhood and is going to high school. And to conceal the fact that she's a demon, she's etched out a onto a sheet of metal so that uh, someone who can see people's lifespans would be able to identify her as an immortal would not be able to identify her. And so she goes through this entire, tries to go into the buses for this field trip. Only with one hand holding this really ungainly piece, large piece of metal. All right. I'm sorry. The entire thing just suddenly reminded me of that. Go ahead, uh, Troy. You've got a nine. Um, so I got, a, I got a nine. Yeah, a nine to help. Yeah. Right. So you do manage to help out. Uh, so you expose yourself to a little bit trouble or danger. We'll see what that does later. Okay. But you do get some nice. Uh, you do get these these uh, charms done so that you can hold them rather easily. You what it is? I know what it is. You have to hold the charm. You cannot use your elephant gun while holding the charm. Okay. Okay. So you guys are going to head out to the community center now. Yep. Okay. You come down the the hotel thing and you get to the the front door and, and what you see 
is a bunch of people staring a little bit in confusion at the uh, out the front door. You see the receptionist is there. Um, walks the receptionist sort of walks out to go uh, looking walking out starts to go walking out the door to look. Stop her. Huh? I'm gonna stop her. Yeah, you don't want to go out there. Yeah, uh, barricade the door after us and uh, lock up. Things are going to get crazy. Take my word for it. And I'll just drop a wad of money on the desk. Okay. Maybe well, a drink or something. Okay. Uh, thank you. What's going on? If things go really bad, use the gun I gave you, please. She would have if she had walked out. <laughs> yeah. What's so going on? Like um, I think the yeah. gods have gone crazy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. You step out, and it is... It's not immediate because it's not right at this door yet. When you step out, you can start hearing uh, screams of rage and pain and uh, chaos, just chaos everywhere. It sounds like from some of what you can see, some people are resisting the effects, but most people are just reduced to, like, you know, 28 days later. Okay. Yeah, we need to move quick. Lee. Damn it, Kong, why didn't you develop some sort of strap so this could rest on my hips or my back and I can free both hands with elephant gun? What job are you doing? By the way, we took the jewel, right? You took the jewel. You have the jewel. You have the uh, athame. All right, Kong. We move uh, quickly. Right. I don't Get caught in the violence. Uh, also, as a note, athames, they're, they're knives, but they are not traditionally used to cut flesh or anything living. They're used to cut circles for rituals. So you would know that you would probably be very careful not to use it directly as a weapon. Okay? Yep. Okay. Um, because you would uh, corrupt it. Like with, my, with my experience, I would be able to tell the difference between, like, this knife is for stabbing. This knife is for performing rituals. Right. You don't want to corrupt the ritual knife. Okay. Okay. So you're going to get through. It's just sort of out chaos. I need you to give me an act under pressure to get through without attracting too much in the way of crazy people to come after you. That Dun -dun -dun. is very good. You you've 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 uh, been through this before, Jimmy. Um, again, you're having uh, issues. Uh, you you don't. Uh, you're what's going to happen is uh, you're going you stumble again and take about. Uh, I'll say you'll, t you'll take another harm. You're at three. Okay. Watch your step, kid. You don't want to get that rain. Actually, he's not all that worried about the rain right now. He's got the charm; it won't affect him. But he's worried about. <laughs> I, I, I don't know that. So. Your dot, your death will be, your death will be short lived. <laughs> okay. So, getting up towards the the community center, you find the community center oddly free of rain. There doesn't appear it doesn't appear to be disturbed at all. Oh, that's good news. Sure things are right here. I got a beep. Let's see if that's No, that's from the uh, that's from the Silver Unicorn Tavern. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and what are you? How are you approaching? I will note this is a situation where you might want to read a bad situation before going in. Okay. So there's one person left, um, one hunter left. Um, do we know anything about that? You do not that you know of. You heard the word Yoni Kavik. If you want, you've been all over the place. Neither of you have tried to roll an investigative mystery for for trying to remember anything or or encountering anything. But telling me you've in, but since you've encountered the blood rain before, you there is a chance you've run across it. So I will let you roll investigative mystery to plumb your memory. All right, we'll do that. 
double check my sharp plus two. Sorry. Oh, what, what, what? Oh. oh. I'm pretty sure it was another guy completely. Yeah. You know nothing. Unfortunately, on a miss, there isn't too much terrible that happens that I can't, that isn't already a bad thing already happening. So, are you guys both going to read a bad situation? Yes. Okay, go ahead and give me that. That's going to be plus uh, sharp, I believe. Let me take a look around here. That's uh, hold three. Um, while you're deciding what questions you want, uh, Jimmy, can you go ahead and roll, read a bad situation? There it is. Oh, yay. All right. Tell me when you're ready for my questions. I'm ready for your questions. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? At the moment, uh, you're, you're you're pretty sure you can kind of hear a low chanting on, on the edge of, uh, of coming in from up over the stairwell. You're pretty sure there are some cultists, and you think suddenly that they were there. There is also sort of the sound of comp, of yelled voices. You can recognize Clarissa as one of them, and some man as the as a, as the other. And also, there's a disturbance in the in the cultist voice as. Um, as Jimmy steps out of the rain and into the area of the of the community center, it's like him stepping out of the rain just suddenly made tons of the all all the people in this area suddenly aware of something. Okay, what's my best way in? Uh, straight up the stairwell at this point. Being sneaky is probably blown. That's all I need to know. Clarissa's in trouble. I'm yeah. going in. Okay. And I rush the stairs. Okay. Toss Jim the door to the side. Jimmy. Yep. Yep. Troy just went rushing up the stairs. You're, what are you doing? I'm going to summon hell. Okay. Hell appears. And what is it you uh, wish me to do? I need you. Make sure he doesn't die. I'll follow behind. Okay. I will. Uh, I will protect your friend. Oh yeah. Also, make sure Coyce doesn't die. I will also. Pro I will protect both of your friends. Okay. She starts slowly, though. It, it seems like there's. She seems to be walking slowly, but it's like you blink and she's further away. You don't see her sort of teleport, you get the idea she walked the entire way, but she never seems to move any quicker, but she's just suddenly further away. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably follow behind behind her, I'd like kind of like the curious child, uh -huh. just like peeking behind her back. Yeah. Okay, as you're doing that, She's going off following uh, Troy and heading towards where Clarissa is. And you can see Clarissa with her staff talking to, to uh, a guy holding a cup and, and talking at her. He's a balding sort of guy in a white suit covered in blood. And saying, no, oh, it's waited long enough. You know. You can feel it. You've You've been drawing from the same source of power as we have. You know what it wants. You know what your purpose is. And you know your friends will bring the other two artifacts here and we can complete this. Shit. Okay. And right. while you're, you're, you're both seeing that, a number of you're seeing also a, a small army of cultists around the outer edges of the community center, and a, a, a number of them, maybe ten, stand up and start streaming their way towards the this disturbance in the supernat in, in the magic that they sensed, which is Jimmy. 
This is what happens when you fail a read bad a situation. You you give information to the enemy. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> so tell me your reactions. You both still have luck, so I can't just kill you out of no 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 nothing. Um. So who is standing next to uh, Clarissa? Um, Clarissa is talking to an older, uh, a, a bald man in a white suit, covered in he's covered in blood. Okay. But uh, they're just talking. He doesn't look like he's trying to hurt her or anything like that. No, it looks like he's trying to talk to her into joining him. It's like join the dark side, basically. I am. I'm going to approach Clarissa. Um, oh. I've got my weapon out, but not pointed at anyone until somebody moves to attack me. Okay. Are you going to be talking at talking to her? Yeah. Um, Clarissa, what's going on here? It's like, I, I'm supposed to be here. I have to complete the ritual. Okay. Where's the other... The other I can feel them. They're right here. The other, the other two artifacts are here. I don't got a problem with that. Jimmy has them. Bring them over, and the old, the uh, the man says, "Bring them over. We can finish this right now." Well, Jimmy. And, and Jimmy, you're looking at these cultists, and he, the old, the the bald man, kind of raises his hand. The cultists are kind of staying their hand, and the old, the the balder man saying, "Here, bring the bring the artifacts here. We will complete this ritual." How about this? How about you give me yours? I have been born to perform this ritual. I know it inside and out. Who do you think? I've been studying this tournament for centuries. I know exactly what to do. Well, we do have more. Well, a century, not maybe. Um, point is, I know how to do the ritual. Give me your artifacts. I don't think so. I think we'll bring your artifacts here. And he starts to turn towards his cultists again and nods towards Jimmy, and they start moving again to come at him with knives drawn. I'll shoot him. Okay, do so. Jimmy, what are you doing? I'm going to jinx them. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the shooting first. Do I get a plus one for, since I studied the situation earlier? Yes, you do. As if you need it. You also... I, I, I did need it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, <laughs> plus one won't give you too much. Well, your tough is only plus one, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So you barely succeeded. Um, yep. You're barely. right in his face. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call this kick some ass. And you are both going to take some damage from each other. So you kind of, while he, when you start moving your gun towards him, he looks at you and pulls out w with his hand, and you can feel blood escaping from your pores and flowing into him as you okay. blast him back. I, I did, uh, four, I do four harm with my elephant gun. Yes. So and I you, finish him. And you take three, and you go ahead and we'll finish him. Oh, yeah. I'm doubling the damage. He just took eight, eight harm. He just took eight harm. Okay. This is for you. Yeah, and Clarissa's is just is still kind of confused. Um, and, and he falls back and still is moving, though, starting to move to stand up. And you were jinxing the cultists coming after you. Come and tell me what you're doing. Uh, roll the roll the juice. On a seven and nine, I hold one. Um, um, you have a hold one. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to interfere with what a monster minion or bystander is trying to do. Um, so they don't notice that there's um, like a pit in the way, okay. and they just fall. Okay, so you're going to jinx them if they... Okay, so what I'm going to say here is you're going to get a plus one on an act under pressure roll because 
um, they're being interfered with. You get an extra plus one. So act under pressure to avoid being mobbed by cultists. Otherwise, it would, been, it would have been... Isn't that why it's interfering with the hunter? Oh, no, never mind. That's, that's negative one on their act. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... I'll take it. Okay. So you... Uh, that's the seven is total? Yeah. Okay. So you are able... Well, at this point, what I'm going to say is you can... Um, you can either escape all harm from them, or you can uh, be knocked prone at this moment. You had to die for cover, even though they, they fell into a lot of them fell into this pit and stumbled over each other. You're going to have to you're going to be knocked prone and have to stand up next time, or be at you know at a disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Yoni Kravik is standing up again, uh, and he's. Looking towards, uh, he's looking towards uh, what do you call um, hell? Uh, not hell. Uh, he's looking towards Troy, and, and he looks back uh, over towards Clarissa. And it's like, look, Aaron, you know that, that what this is. You know what we have to do. Come with me and join against these false friends of yours. So. He's trying to I'm on your side. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm on your side. I want you to do the ritual, not him. Okay. Go ahead and roll me. Uh, manipulate. Okay. What's manipulate under? Um, hot. Well, when there's no hot in this one. It's going to be a minus one charm, but you're going to get a plus one on this because you okay. did a bad situation. So you got plus zero. Bam. Oh! Charming when it counts. Yes. <laughs> it's like no, no, you aren't my. No, it's not. I'm not doing this with. I'm not listening to you. And she swipe, swipes out with her her sky, her sickle. Yeah. And, and slashes out, and it cuts into his throat, and he's just about got decapitated. And it's really disturbing. It's like the blood is not leaking out. He's not really bleeding from anything. The blood is flowing through vessels that aren't there anymore. It's almost like he's a blood creature wearing a skin suit. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Um, also, um, uh, Jimmy, what are you doing? You're stuck on the ground. And they're climbing out of the pit and coming after you. Do remember you have the jewel and what it does. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the gem. Okay. And focus on it. Okay. Roll me weird, please. And I was going to change it so each of the artifacts used a different stat, and I forgot to. But go ahead and roll me weird. Nine. Okay. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay. Now, Jewel. So, from what I've read, um, basically I clutch it, and uh, everybody feels bogged down. Like everyone, it's as if gravity was pushing down on you more. Right. You get a, everybody. All of your allies get plus one on all rolls. Cool. But he's not very completely controlling it. So as you're looking at it, it's the entire. It's the area all around you is like being crushed under this intense force of gravity. You're looking around at all the the, the minions and all that. And they're struggling to stand, even stand up. But they are. But the and the ground underneath you is cracking and compacting. You, in the first moment, the 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 ground level drops an entire inch, and the buildings sort of start crumpling inward. Jesus, the guys who are crawl are who are climbing fall to the bottom, right? 
Yep, they're 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 they will they will still be able to try to threaten you later, but there you get a plus one to res to to try any anything to, to deal with them. This is one of those things where I don't roll; you guys do all the rolling. So most of the things in the, most uh, most results end up doing a bonus to your roll or a penalty to your roll. So. Yoni is is standing up and and he sort of leans over with his slashed throat and and, and lets some of the, and some of the blood falls out of his slash into the chalice which he dumps over as he's struggling against it. You still get a plus one in this, but everybody's got to be you've got to do a a act under pressure to remain standing as this torrent of blood that's being turned up into a frenzy by the uh, intense gravity of the jewel starts rushing outward. Okay. Act under pressure. And now you know what the chalice does. Yep. I want that chalice. Troy is going to stride forward, um, shove the elephant gun in his mouth and pull the trigger. Okay. Well, I still need to. Oh wow, you you nailed that act under pressure. Yeah. Now, I've been in all kinds of slippery situations. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I do need um, Jimmy to roll the act under pressure too. Yeah, I got a nine. He did get an advance. Okay. So uh, at this point, you can stay on your feet, or you can, or. You can stay on your feet, or you can keep hold of the jewel and keeping that uh, that gravity wave going. And technically, I was already on the ground, so I'll just keep the gem. You're keeping the gems. You're being pushed. That's right. You're already on the ground. You didn't stand up last time, so you're pushed back. And I'm going to go ahead and say you take one one harm. Are you up to four again? Uh, yeah. Okay, you are now unstable again. Okay, so damn you're it. you're hold gonna be, huh? The damage, Jimmy. Hold it together. Yeah. I like the I fact. I'm holding it. That's what's causing this. <laughs> okay, you're striding forward to give him a a, a a You're going to go forward to behead him, right? Yeah. Okay. Blow this like right off. Okay, go ahead and do so. A roll. Um, <sighs> Roll an act under pressure. Oh, act under pressure. Well, I got a six. You got a six? That's a seven. And I, oh, act under pressure, you have a seven, sorry. Yeah. So you do not get splashed with his blood. Very good for you. Good. I like that. You, you, you get some minorly splashed by his blood, but not enough to have the really, really nasty thing happen. So you take two harm. Ugh. All right, that takes me to five. Now imagine what the really, really nasty thing was. Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> the other one's bad. Enough. Okay. Can um, Kong try to intercept that blood? Do you want him to? Yeah. Um, you can't roll help for yourself, so it just be. Oh. That's fine. We can just okay. look at this. Okay, so Jimmy, what are you doing? You're you're still clutching that you're you can find you felt uh, a a rib break and you're kind of familiar with this thing you think you're probably you're intensely beat up at this point and you remember the deal you had was until you die hell serves you. So I like I uh, struggle up to my feet and I start walking towards them. I extend my hand um, and this blast of eldritch energy co comes out of my hand and strikes it to uh, both his face. Okay. He is actually... Okay, go ahead and and do that. Roll the weird. Okay. Or were you doing the big whammy? Big whammy. Okay. Here's the thing. If you do it as a big whammy... You're going to end up doing more damage. If you do it as use magic, you're not going to take any damage yourself. I'm going to use use magic. Okay. So 
you are going to deal one damage to him, and he splats apart, and and starts his body starts crumbling down, and the blood starts spilling off somewhere. And you do notice this time, Hell just sort of reaches out, and the blood sort of curls away from him. Remembering, so you're kind of remembering her pro, your, her promise that she was going to keep him away. The blood sort of scatters away. It seemed to be trying to reach out for Clarissa and him, but Hell sort of reaches out and vaguely gestures, and everything spills away. And she's continuing to watch this with a slight smile on her face. How? Ever that has left you open and things are coming at the the cultists are coming after you. You still have the plus one because you're still holding the jewel, but you're busy doing that blast, so it's going to be up to Troy to save you. Alright. I will try. So um the main guy's the blast um did I blast his head and is he down dead? He's down. He's down. Between you and between you, Clarissa, and uh, and uh, Jimmy, he is down. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pull out my um, 38 because I'm sure I'm, my alpha gun needs reloading. So, and start blasting at the cultists. Okay. Cool. Um, go ahead and give me a act under pressure because you're not in danger. You're trying to shoot around your friend without hitting him. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy. Uh, what's the harm on your what's the harm on your pistol? On my pistol? No, on his pistol. Um I think it might be thirty eight is two harm. Let me take a quick look here. No, actually probably two actually. Okay. Uh, where's my gear? Two harm. It is two harm. Uh, you are now up to six harm. Jimmy, I'm going to give you the, the cultists are about to rush at, at you. You are I'm going to give you one more action to try to act under pressure to get out from under them or die. Uh, yeah. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, basically I'm going to start turning and running. Yeah. Um, he shoots me, I just, like, stumble a little bit. Uh-huh. And, like, I keep running on, like, basically all fours, except one of them is holding my chest. Okay. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Sorry right. about that, Jimmy. Okay. You managed to get out. Uh, you, okay. I, I, I will tell you this. Um, if, if uh, well, this is the outcome I can have. You can get away but drop the gem. Or... You can let them, or you can say that they kill you, and Hell enacts her price right away with with uh, spectacular results. Her promise. I'll drop the gem. Okay. Okay, and you drop. I want, to, I want to get behind. I want to get behind Troy. Okay. You managed to get crawling behind Troy. You left the gym behind. You still have these cultists coming in. And you you watch as Hell sort of smiles at you as you come by. You're at six. But you're unstable, so now you're at seven harm. All right, stay behind me. I have to adjust the sights on this. The con did a terrible job. Sighting this gun. He knows I'm taller than he is. Right. So uh, I think Kong needs to heal me right now. Because if I if I don't get healed, I'm dead. Kong can try to heal. Okay, I'll go ahead and let uh, Jimmy. I'll let you roll with Kong's. Since Kong's helping, I'll let you roll 
do your use magic because it's Kong helping you. I'll okay. let you do that. Go ahead weird. and roll magic. Is that weird? That is weird. Well, no, I was going to let Jimmy roll it for it to heal yeah. himself. Okay. So no. you're going to... Oh, I can heal myself? Uh, well, Kong's actually doing it, but I'm letting you roll the dice because so that you're doing, you're, you're, you're taking part in it. I'm, be, I'm playing a little bit fast and loose so that everybody's doing something and not everybody's sitting around. Um, so, you, and also I'm giving you a little bit more benefit with that. Okay, you're going to have to choose a glitch. But you cast out with the, uh, with, with the elephant gun and, and the cultists kind of fall back and, and then Clarissa starts going in, and in short order, everything is everything is cleared. Well, it's great when things actually go according to plan. Okay, Jimmy, do I'm just you like know? clutching my chest and just like I I utter to hell, do your goddamn job, kill them. You only had to ask, and as you, soon as you asked. She obliterates the entire all of them. All of who? She obliterates all the cultists. Okay. Remember when you went into this? His what he asked her to do was keep you and Clarissa from dying, hmm. and that's what she's done. All right. Yeah. Well, good job. Okay. I, so you I have to could have abused a loophole and ordered her to keep me from dying. <laughs> You have a glitch. Oh, the, the, that would be a counter. To the, the, she, she, I, I don't know. That that wasn't specifically put as a counter, so you could probably try to do that. Um, That's what they call a loophole. Yeah. Um, but you did roll an eight. You can either... This is what I can give you the offer. I, I, this is I, Usually you would choose a glitch, but I'm going to give you this suggestion. You can either heal one or remove the unstable. Heal one, move unstable. Unstable well, is what lets one, me. I'm just, if I don't heal one, I'm still dying, right? If I if you get rid of the unstable, then I can't just damage you. You're not bleeding. But I'm already at seven. Right, but eight is when you die. Okay. So if you remove the unstable, you are you are stabilized. You won't lose any more health. Yeah, and he's going to heal you something. I, think. I will um, cure the unstable. Okay. You are in horrible, horrible shape. I, I like, managed to utter out, like, Tony, Tori, Tori, get yeah. Yeah, the kid. artifacts. Get the fucking sphere. This. Fucking whatever it is. Hey, all right, no, don't worry about. It. Uh, okay. Is it Clarissa going to get them? Yeah, Clarissa can go ahead and go get them. Are you going to? Who is going to perform the ritual? Clarissa, she's the chosen one. Okay, um, I want everybody to please give me a read a bad situation. Do we get plus one for the? The gym? No, not in this game. Do I have to? Uh, you don't have to, no. Okay. Then I'm not going to. Okay. I am not going to fail this roll and die again. Okay. I have read a bad situation. I got an eight. Um, let's see. Okay. What do you want to ask? What's the biggest threat? There is still, you can get this idea, there is still something off about Clarissa and the way she's moving together and putting, uh, arranging the artifacts very naturally, even though you know she's not the best of sorcerers. Can I interfere with her? Yes, you can, and you have a plus one to do so because you had that premonition. Jimmy, have you noticed Clarissa seems a little off? Though you have to be told that she seems a little off right now. Did you just give him that information? Uh, yeah, I, I okay. said, Jimmy, did you, did you notice Clarissa seems a little off? 
and you suddenly remember that premonition you have about something outside of her taking over. It, I'm just like, you idiot. I told you to give me the... Artifacts. Uh, I'll fix it. No, you should get them. Uh, wait, so Jinx... I'm going to cast Jinx on her. Okay, go ahead. James? Nine. Okay. So, out of nine, you get a hold one. The target loses something that you will soon find. I'll tell you what. When she gets to the... You can, you can kind of drag yourself over there, and as she completes it, you can uh, take over the boom. You can you can take over the end of the ritual so that whatever is casting through her does not get what it wants. Okay. What is and when you do that, there is this raw, hateful glare at you as just before Clarissa kind of shakes her head and says, "What what what happened?" and sort of faints backwards. I catch her. And what is the boon you were going to ask for? Hmm. Boons. I want to be free of my pact with hell. Done. Okay. You, you do that, hell kind of looks at you and Kind of wet glares. Ah. Do be aware that this sort of deal will get around. Loopholes. <laughs> Almost! If he had died, that would have been a change of playbook. <laughs> if he had died, he would have been instantly converted into a, a lich. So I'm watching all this, and Clarissa's doing all this worse stuff, and then Jimmy suddenly steps in and completes it, and I'm not sure what's going on, and then, huh, didn't really seem like much happened. That was a letdown. Yep, and Jimmy, just one thing, though. When you complete it, all of the artifacts sort of fall apart because their purpose has been finished. I, I, like, turn over. I put my, my hand on my stomach, and I'm just like, ah. Damn it, I didn't even get a good trophy to put on the wall. <laughs> well, I've got a few stories to tell, though. Yeah, though, you, uh, that would be the end of that. Okay. I, I will... T I, 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 I carry will... Clarissa in my, in my arms, and right. I will carry her back to the hotel, and, help, and Kong will help Jimmy. He's right. still badly hurt. Right. You cut that so close. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually have rules for fighting the Eldritch Abomination if it gets released. Oh, I was ready. That was what I was hoping for. It if had... it had been up to me, I would have released it. <laughs> it was not ready for that. Because my, my guy wanted the trophy. Like, well, what greater honor is there? <laughs> you know what it was in there? It was Typhon. Typhon? Okay. That's the Greek Titan that... It's okay. good break all monsters, right? Yeah, uh, it's it, it it's the the titan that was built was created pretty much to destroy the gods. It, it's it, it is Cthulhu plus basically. Cool. And some of the moves it has: reality melting, madness, debris, corruption. I'm sure it would have been no horrific. As 24 harm. <laughs> I feel pretty accomplished then. Yes. I was I trying so it. much. I was really, I was actually really trying to kill him just so I could get. You know, it's like, okay, you're now a zombie with a dark, with a dark lord of, dark lord of hell. <laughs> yeah, I thought he might die a couple times there. Yeah. Didn't, didn't help when I shot him. <laughs> you <definitely> have. <laughs> You have, by the way, um, permanently killed 
one of the three uh, one of the three monsters you ran across. All right. Because you're you're all you're summoning around. You brought Azrael. You brought Hell, and Hell decided to give a message to Morrigan. The reason that Death Knight was around is he got cursed by three different priests, and Hell, Morrigan, and Azrael couldn't agree on who who's who his soul belonged to. <laughs> so he was still around the earth. Cool. And Hell decided, I don't care anymore. I'm going to keep him. And the other two decide, uh, got summoned in to hash it out. So the Death Knight is gone. Masato, you actually have to take a trip into the underworld and write his name back in the Book of the Dead. Next time. Yeah, and... Yoni, the bald guy, um, somebody's going to get infected with his blood and turn into him. Okay. So you got sorry, of... sorry, Kong. Sorry about that. <laughs> it wasn't. It's not going to be Kong. No, no, it has to be Kong. <laughs> That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. He owes me a life debt. Yes. Okay, so that is the tournament of fate thing. Cool. Uh, I will note you are not the first party to try to bot to get Casil uh, on your side. Other one of the other parties had a had a uh, Valkyrie, and decided to turn Casil into her shadow. Hmm. Kind of like Peter Pan has a as a as an right. independent shadow. So Casil got permanently bound to be the Valkyrie's shadow. Well, that sounds horrible. <laughs> For Casino. Yeah. What well, was a lot of fun. We weren't we were we weren't that much nicer, but we didn't we didn't trap her anywhere. No, no. The first party I ran this through just banished her for the heaven so she can face her disciplinary hearing. I don't know where you're saying we. I didn't really do anything to her. Oh, we were super nice then. We just put her to sleep and took her stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty darn nice. Okay. So that is my scenario. It is a long one-shot for, for Monster of the Week. I, I basically had three separate major monsters in it. And um, when he started doing things like summoning a Reaper on, mm. on the Death Knight's forces, it's like, wait, the Death Knight's the one that, oh, that, is, that has three Death Gods Gunning for him. Okay. <laughs> well, it was definitely fun. I wish uh, Gamer Girl got to stick yeah. around. That yeah, would have been, 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 been very nice. Okay. Right. So, oh, glad you had fun. Yep, thank you very much. I'm going to get some sleep. Yep. All right, guys. It's like right. 5 in the morning, so I got to go. Okay. Yep. All right. Five and eight for me. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Peace.